friends, uh, let's look at one GTO task every day and see what the GTO sees in you when he puts you through that particular task. So today, let's discuss uh, the first task of the GTO series, which is group discussion and see what is it that the GTO is seeing in you when he is uh, putting you through this task. Now you're aware that there are two GDs which are conducted back to back, one after the other. And GTO would have announced two topics in the first GD and you are at liberty to choose one of those topics. And then uh, in the second GD, only one topic is given and you are required to carry out a discussion on that particular topic. So let's see what the GTO would see in you when he puts you through this particular task. Naturally, the first and the foremost thing that GTO is going to see is the content of your views, the knowledge that you exhibit uh, through the points that you're making. That is the single most important thing during the GD. So please make sure that you're well informed, you read a lot. In fact, we write uh, blogs on Olive Green's website. If you have a look at those, uh, you will find that they are written in a manner that you're able to grasp uh, whatever that is relevant to that topic in a very precise manner and you'll find it really useful. The next thing which the GTO would see in you is your ability to grasp the essentials of the topic as to what exactly is the topic all about. So what I mean by this is that a lot of candidates think that they've spoken well but they've actually not spoken relevant to the topic. Now for example, if let's say there's a topic to say that as per you, which is the biggest challenge that our country is facing today? Is it corruption? Is it overpopulation? Or is it communal disharmony? Now, all three leads are equally important. So therefore, whichever one that you wish to choose, you've got to support that till the end of the group discussion. So let's assume that you picked up uh, corruption as the biggest challenge that country is facing. So you will notice that a lot of candidates will speak on uh, you know how corruption is a very big challenge for some time and then they'll switch over to uh, you know talk about what are the ways that corruption can be controlled or checked which is actually not relevant to the topic and you might feel that you've spoken very well on this topic but eventually what the GTO is going to record in his recording sheet is that while the candidate spoke adequate but he spoke irrelevant to the topic at many times. So now naturally you will not get the full benefit of what you should have got if you would have understood what, are, what is the topic all about. So the second important thing is that you must never lose sight of what is expected of you to speak in that particular topic. Now the third most important thing is that he's looking at the way you have organized your thoughts in your mind and the way you're able to put them out in a very, very systematic and organized manner. So if you speak very haphazardly, naturally the impact that you create will not be good. So make sure that when you are participating, the points that you're making, they sound as if you're putting them out in a very, very systematic manner and they should have enough, uh, you know, experiences of your own life or perhaps even certain, uh, you know, examples which are there in the newspaper, etc. So you can quote certain examples and uh, connect them with the point that you're making so that your point has greater weightage and it sounds more interesting and more valuable. Now, the when the flow of your thoughts in your mind are good, naturally the flow of thoughts in your speech will automatically become better because from your knowledge and the way you organize your thoughts, everything will flow from there. In fact, it acts as a fuel for your confidence as also for your ability to express your thoughts. So the next thing that GTO is looking at is your ability to put across your views with great clarity and ease to other people so that it is understood in a very, very simplistic manner, the points that you're trying to put over there. Now, the next thing GTO would see is that you know in any GTO group you will always find people who are a little rash, who are a little uh, overbearing, who are abrasive. So what he's looking at is also your social intelligence that how are you able to very very tactfully deal with such people 
who are overbearing or who may be a little rude at times so how are you able to deal with such people is another thing which he is observing he is also looking at your ability to be sensitive to the feelings of other people let's say a candidate is wanting to speak for a while and he appears to be a slightly mild person so it will be a good idea to uh, ask the group the gentleman just number 5 has been wanting to speak for a while let's hear him out so make sure that you remain sensitive to other people and that will only happen if you have good receptivity so make sure that besides speaking well you are also a good listener because when you speak it should naturally be in context with your previous speaker and it should not happen that you are just making stand alone points which has nothing to do with what the discussion is going on at that point so remain relevant to the discussion make sure that you speak in context with your previous speaker the next thing gto is also seeing through the kind of points that you're making that are you a person who is uh, you know well adjusted in the society or in the environment that you exist some people are always kind of complaining and they always keep saying colleges mein padhai nahi hoti and this and that you know politicians are corrupt so they'll keep uh, talking about things where it sounds as if the person is part of the problem rather than suggesting a solution also make sure that you do not sound very radical about certain caste creed religion so don't have very strong views and also what the gto is seeing that hope you're not an anti establishment person a person who you know unnecessarily stands up to the authorities or the uh, norms of the society so you should conform to the normals of the society of the way things are laid out you should be in conformity with that and through that he will be able to see that you are a person who is living in harmony with the environment that you exist also gto is looking at your ability to take up initiative and make many points which are relevant intermittently now a lot of people confuse initiative with your ability to speak first now make sure that you know the clear difference between the two let's say a person a was the first person to speak but he made some uh, ordinary one or two points throughout the gd and that is it whereas person b was the fourth person to uh, get into the discussion or enter the discussion and throughout the gd he made very very relevant points and uh, the points that you that he made were with such clarity and conviction that people were tending to agree or were, was creating a great impact on other people in the group so initiative is your ability to take the first step but in the right direction and also ensure that you take it to the logical conclusion so initiative does not mean speaking first but it means that you were relevant throughout the gd and you participated effectively then gto is also seeing your ability to have faith in your own self a lot of people kind of given uh, during the discussion they're looking nervous and they feel inadequate even from your body language and mannerism gto is going to draw out some inferences so make sure that you do not appear as if you have already lost the battle so as if you have given up so remain in uh, in the context in the contest and make sure that even if you are not able to uh, make very many points but at least you are looking involved and you are kind of nodding your head or appreciating someone or at least you are remaining relevant in the discussion next he is also looking at your ability to remain buoyant to remain cheerful uh, because throughout this this gd there'll be a lot of uh, uphill uh, movement there'll be a lot of people shouting at you there'll be a lot of abrasive people there'll be people who will uh, maybe be very curt with you when the discussion is happening so you should make sure that you do not lose your composure you if even if you get irritated in your body language it will be seen by gto and that naturally will be recorded so make sure that you do not lose your composure you remain cheerful and also uh, remain buoyant and try and keep the atmosphere in the group also buoyant by you know making light comments sometimes or encouraging someone in between and uh, you know appreciating someone so that is what is going to make the environment in the discussion a little light 
He is also looking at your ability to withstand certain setbacks. For example, if somebody has made a very strong counterpoint to the point that you were trying to make, he would now see that do you crumble to this setback or are you able to bounce back and give a good counter argument without sounding overbearing or without sound, sounding as if uh, you are irritated or agitated. So are you able to bounce back from that setback? He is also looking at your mental stamina because you know uh, throughout this GD 15 minutes uh, you may not have too many points to participate and sometimes you feel as if uh, there is nothing more that you have to contribute. So that is what would show a poor mental stamina. So you should be able to figure out uh, what next that you should be speaking upon and you should also uh, you know maybe twist the language of some of the statements that were made, add some example to that and make a fresh point and put it out. Uh, at the same time, I would like to say that do not be repetitive. Don't keep repeating the same point again and again. So in a 15 minutes GD, uh, you should have been able to make four to five very relevant, meaningful points which are standalone and which have not been repeated earlier by anybody or by you that kind of a participation should be enough. Last but not the least, you must never ever forget that during the discussion, it is not the amount that you have spoken that counts, but it is how and what you have spoken, that is what is going to matter. So make sure that when you participate in this GD, at the end of this GD, you should feel satisfied with the kind of contributions that you made, and that should appear in your body language and mannerism also. And that is precisely what the GTO is looking at. Thank you so much.